Hey there, it's Ingrid Blackburn. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to create some fun, vibrant, colorful monoprint backgrounds using a gel press, some acrylic paint, and a brayer. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you come back from time to time and view some tutorials. And if you're interested in any of the products that I'm using, be sure to click the links in the section below. So to get started, I have two gel press plates and some acrylics. The gel press plate, the larger one is by Gel Press and the smaller one is by Jelly Arts. I do have some larger ones by Jelly Arts as well, just using a smaller one today. And we're using uh, several different paints by Arteza. They have a great uh, big collection. I think it's 48 or 60 uh, different tubes. And it's a nice way to kind of get into acrylic paint without needing to buy all the big tubes all at once. So if you're just kind of getting started, I definitely recommend it. I'll, like I said, I'll put links below so that you can see exactly what I'm using. The pink is actually Rose Red by Reeves and I love that color. I'm using a four inch speedball brayer here and I love this brayer. You wanna make sure to have the rubber brayer, the soft rubber brayer. You don't want an acrylic, a hard acrylic or a sponge brayer when you're doing this. And you'll see me also use a smaller two inch brayer and that one is by Ranger and I love that little, the little one as well. I think. It's really important to have both when you're when you're actually doing your mono prints and you can see here I didn't put a whole lot of paint down and I'm just kind of spreading it around the rose red I actually had quite a bit of rose red on there and I, I don't think you can really tell but it's really juicy and you can see some texture in it and that's usually a sign that you have a little too much paint uh, and that's okay you know this is fun. It's a background. And the nice part about mono printing is no two are exactly the same. Uh, every project is completely unique. You can see that I'm using my smaller uh, gel press to kind of rub off some of the paint from my brayer. And basically what I'm doing is I'm getting bonus projects. You know, why put all that paint onto scrap paper, which I, of course, then turn into something. So you want to make sure not to use copy paper. Use uh, paper that you would <laughs> do your mono printing with because it's in essence a background and so now I've kind of working on three different projects all at once which is kind of cool once I have my paint brayered out the way that I want it I'm of course just laying down my paper and I use a lighter weight cardstock by Nina uh, it's a great cardstock to use for mono printing. I wouldn't necessarily use it to make cards. I find it to be a little lightweight for that, but for mono printing, it's great. And you can get 300 sheets for like eight or nine bucks. You can't go wrong with that. I've got a six by six stencil by Catherine Pooler. I love that stencil when I'm doing mono printing. It leaves such great designs. It's very easy to layer, great stencil to have, and you can use it on any size plate that you have. You can see not everything pulled up because some of the paint had already dried. Flipping my piece over to kind of get a peek. I can't wait. It's awful. <laughs> I'm very impatient. So I'm peeling this up usually a little earlier than I would normally and you can see how some of the paint step was left behind and that is okay. To me I love having those white spots in there. I think that it adds extra interest and when you go to layer you actually have the white shining through so it really brightens up your project. So I'm adding more of the same colors here, the same rose red and the same yellow and blue. And when you're brayering, you want to kind of uh, lift your brayer as you're doing it, uh, rather than if you're just moving it straight flat against your gel press, you're gonna get these funky little marks. And that's great if you're looking to create marks, but if your goal is to actually spread your acrylic paint, you wanna kind of lift your brayer as you're going and that will help to just kind of spread that around. So you can see I added just a hair back down there, just wanted to uh, kind of get a little bit more paint on there before adding that piece of cardstock again. Cleaning off my brayer on the other side, adding a little bit more paint, just wanting to get another print over there. And you know, something else you can do, you can see I'm letting that paint kind of dry over to the left. And look at that, I mean, I love these colors together. They make such great combinations and such beautiful backgrounds. So once I've kind of, I've let that dry a little too long, you can see not much comes up there, but I wanted to pick up some of that yellow with some of the paint, kind of create that interest. And that's why I had just put a little bit of paint over that one spot. I added some white down because now that I have all that great uh, paint that's kind of dried on my plate, I need to add something very wet and heavy, and that's a heavy body white acrylic. 
So that's going to kind of reactivate everything or allow it to stick to it when I go to pull it off. So I'm going to lay down a piece of cardstock and later on we're going to pull up everything that is there. So the toughest part is allowing these to dry and that's one of the reasons I love to work with multiple plates. Now this is, you can see I'm getting a little impatient. Not everything is coming up. I want as much to come up as possible, but you know, I just can't wait. I have to pull it up. <laughs> I'm sure you're like that too when you're doing this and look at how gorgeous this is. These colors are so vibrant and beautiful and you can see a lot of that yellow was left behind, but that'll just get moved on to a, the next project and oh, these are just gorgeous just going to make the most beautiful backgrounds. Now I am going to layer more onto that at a later point, uh, but I just love, love these. They're just so vibrant. So, so cool. Now when your paint dries like it is, you can see it on my plate now. If I were to layer something on top, another color, I could go ahead and put a different color as long as that is dry. So I could layer purple over yellow if it's completely dry and you'll get that purple and yellow together as you will see in our next project. And look at that, look at that little bit of stencil that's right there. See that makes a very interesting backdrop for a card. And I love using a six by six plate because I can very easily cut it in half and I have a three by five and a half inch panel to, to put onto a card front. Uh, and then, you know, just pop a greeting on top of it and I have a very quick and easy card. Now, remember me talking about purple and yellow. Now those are complementary colors. They don't really like each other at all. Um, they love to be put next to each other when they're completely dry, but blended as wet, then they kind of turn to mud. So it works really well if they're dry. Like I said, and you can see here, I've got red over the yellow there. Now, normally that would turn everything orange. If that yellow is a, still a little bit wet, then you are gonna get a blend of some kind, but if it is completely dry, then they will just layer on top of each other and create something gorgeous. So I've got some, a really deep purple here and I've got a, a nice kind of cool blue and a nice red, kind of like a poppy red. And these colors actually worked really well together. Uh, I thought that they made some beautiful prints. And again, using the six by six plate, you know, kind of to get rid of my excess, plus putting some onto the scrap paper over there on my right. You know, and sometimes your scrap papers turn into the most beautiful prints and they make the great greatest backdrop uh, for some stenciled pieces to put over that. You can see I took my scrap paper and actually threw it onto there because I had something really cool going on there and I wanted to kind of expand it. So uh, I was able to pull up some of that paint, you know, that was left over on the six by six. Now the six by six, you know, when I'm, using the leftover from my brayer, obviously my brayer is not as fully loaded as the larger plate. And so that's why that paint dries a lot faster on that one. And why I'm able to all of a sudden put white on. I could never do that on the big plate because that paint, uh, that heavy body paint still needed to dry, whereas this didn't. So wait until you see this print. This print is beautiful. And I can also pull it up a lot faster because it doesn't take as long to dry. Now that print would make a very cool like 4th of July card, kind of like Americana grunge. I love that look. Now here, look at this print. I have to say this was actually one of my <laughs> all time favorite prints. It was just fun. It looks like an abstract painting. Uh, and look at how that yellow kind of pulled up with the red. And you can see where you have some of the yellow with the purple. Uh, you know, they're just very interesting colors to blend together. Now I could never get that so perfectly placed on my own. It's only because I had that dried paint onto the gel press that was then lifted up with the wet heavy body paint. So here are some close-ups. Here's just those little bits and pieces and look at how great these look. I mean, they're gonna be the great perfect backdrop to a card and you can layer lots of things over that. Love the Americana grunge look. And this is the scrap paper. This is the beginning of something wonderful. I'm gonna create lots more layers on top of that. Love how bright and vibrant these are. And you know, it's just kind of an abstract background, especially this one. This one rocks my world. I cannot even tell you how much. It's just so unbelievably beautiful. And of course, then we have the two really, really bright, vibrant backgrounds. And they're very different, yet they're very similar. And I just kind of love everything that's going on here. So 